In the world today, everything's a commodity. Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to post this video uh, last week, but stuff happened. So I'm going to post it this week. Um, I want to focus on Valentine's Day and the idea of love and how it's interpreted in this culture. The first thing I like would really like to hit home is just like the most obvious thing, like things you don't even realize. Like I don't even necessarily need to like bring it up, but you realize what I mean. Like think about love songs. I mean, I think the most common or like the only two things you can ever write about is love and death. And so um, it's important to uh, note how much love is in the world. Um, or how it is interpreted. Uh, I actually looked this up. I think like I, I think it was from Billboard or something. Um, songs that I found that are really popular were Dark Horse by Katy Perry featuring Lucy Lay, Happy by Pharrell. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Talk Dirty by uh, Jason Derulo featuring Two Chains. Say Something by A Great Big World and Christina Aguilera. Let Her Go by Passenger. Timber by Pitbull featuring Kesha. Counting Stars by One Republic. Drunk in Love by Beyonce. Team by Lloyd. Pompey by Bastille. And uh, those are like the t top 10 like songs of this week or last week that I looked up. And guess what? 10 out of 10, they all either reference or all about love. And you, I don't even need to like look into anything more. Like you think you can think about like probably five songs off the top of your head right now that are about love, talk about love, say love in the title, or is referenced in the song somewhere. It's a popular commodity. If you focus your attention on cinema culture and movies, if you look at like the box office, there are so many love stories, movies about love, and if there's not, there's generally going to be a sex in it, which is its own like little interpretation of love. Like, uh, one of the things was talk to anybody who's in the willow. It's not necessarily about love, but you know it's a type of love. So it's still there. I don't have a movie off the top of my head, but you know all the rom-coms out there. And you know that if um, there is not necessarily like, a love movie, there is definitely incentive there for the hero to do something. Like, off the top of my head, because it's always on my head these days, um, Link from Legend of Zelda does stuff because he's interested in Zelda. Like, there's always, like, a reason to achieve things and do things. It's and partly or completely related to love. And I have to bring back my iPhone because I noticed this, and it's one of the things that spoke my idea to do this um, topic, is the iPhone games that I have. Um, how did I even start this? I don't even remember how I started, but it was suggested on Facebook that I download this app. And I was like, oh, I'm just, okay, we'll see what this is about. And I, one thing you have to, should know about me, if you don't know about me already, I am a sucker for love, like romance and stuff. I don't, I think it's maybe a, a common human need to be loved and I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff, and so when I, if I can find somebody or something that loves me, like, unconditionally, I'm all about that. And, um, that's why I was like, oh, sure, I'll download this app, sure, why not? Um, and the app was, this app, which I said my phone before, that, that was an app, time, by the way. Um, so, the beginning is, you... I should tell you the story about it. Um, you pick a prince, and these are your princes that you can choose. And then a story begins, and it's like they, they tell you a story, and you make decisions along the way. It's choose your own adventure kind of deal. I might have already said this before. Um, so I'm going to go to my page, because I'm just naturally drawn to, I guess, Vanessa, I suppose. Her name is Alva, and you can see right the pink bow is how much he loves me or whatnot. Um, and before I was in like the bad region, so we ended up as friends. And that was not an awesome. <laughs> I did not like that. Um, so I'm 
in the happy video now and I don't know what happens. I think I saw on like YouTube somewhere that like you get kids and junk. I don't know. Uh but this is one. You can and he has I don't know I haven't played all the characters clearly. Um but this guy he has issues with his brother and like you have to talk to him about it and stuff. And it's interesting in that it's suggestions of love. Like, um, later he, there was an issue with his brother where, um, the brother, like, forces himself on me or the character in here. And so he was all, Alva was all like, holy shit, no, I'm going to have to protect you. So he's very protective and so he sleeps with you in your bed every single night. So it's like, he sleeps with you in bed, just saying. Um, also, he, there was a scene, I remember, where I was getting up to go to take a shower. And he was just joking around, and he saw you naked. And then you're like, holy fuck, this is harassment. Like, but yeah, so it's like, things which are like, it happens kind of in life, and love and junk, I suppose. Uh, that one was My Sweet Friend. My sweet friends, excuse me. Um, and this one, they want you to download Ninja Love or something, and I, I was told, I did, but I wasn't attracted to any of the characters. So I got uh, Destiny Ninja, which is kind of like the same thing, I suppose. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and as per usual, I already played a game in it. Uh, a complete story. I think we ended. I can't remember how we ended. We ended as friends or something. He was really happy. He was happy. I don't know. I wasn't happy. Um, but basically, yeah. I have Kusaka. And as I said, look for you can see the love state. I got the sweet ending before. It is all the way to the left or right. I don't know what direction you're in. Um. And now I'm in the level of it, which is going to end up pretty good, I presume. Um, in this one, it's... You have, like, a major, you lose your memory. Because I think you're thrown from your horse or something. And you get come into contact with him, and he brings you back to his clan or whatever, the shinobi and masters and stuff. And I can't remember what his name is, um, but he, the leader says, like, oh, you should take care of her. So automatically, like, he's protecting you, and he's taking care of you, and stuff happens. Um, I'm just trying to think about where it applies to, like, reality. You get love letters all the time, and every now and then you get a photo. And you have to take care of his pet. My guy has a frog. So, take care of his pet. And then I moved on to, what is it called? Celebrity Darling. Um, and it's kind of a different game. Because you're becoming famous. Yeah. I think along the way you meet these guys. And it's kind of... I find it interesting just because... There's that whole celebrity culture part of it. So you run into like um, a band called Wave. And of course there are like the whole celebrity culture like oh my gosh she's famous and stuff. But it's also um, onto another step I suppose because I imagine you fall in love with them later on. But they haven't, like, so far, like, that adds to the real reality of things. Uh, you're on, you're in this drama with these two other guys from Wave. And these, and Wave actors are, like, they're actors and singers, so, like, famous in Japan or whatnot. Um, and the director, because you're so awkward with contact or whatnot, you have to live with, uh, well, this guy, Ryota, and, um, so basically you live together, so it, 
becomes like normalized so it's like not really awkward on screen and whatnot. So so far they live together. So, oh. so, um those are like stories that you choose your own adventure, right? There's also